Would your kids know what to do in a water emergency? That's what our area YMCA's are working to find out. Yeah, News for Jax is partnering with the nonprofit, encouraging everyone to have their children's safety around water skills tested and to do it for free. So Joy's here now. Joy, you were out all afternoon getting the word out on this. Yes, Kent Mary. And by the way, if your children don't pass the swim safety test, they could be eligible for free swim lessons with the YMCA. Today, we met a local mom who not only brought her children out to be tested, she's watching us now, she brought two of her relatives' kids also. After seeing our live reports on News for Jax. Well, I brought my two children and my, my cousin's children. Masa Mokua didn't mind sitting in the hot sun, knowing it meant learning how safe the children in her family are around water. I just want to know, you know, for the safety of, the, of, the, of my kids, for, for me to make sure that, you know, they know how to swim in case of any emergency. Her 13 and 14 year old children passed the YMCA safety around water swim skills test. Their younger cousins who came along too have a little more learning to do before they know what to do in a water emergency. And that's the goal. There you go. Good job. Good job. Helping kids be safe around water as News for Jax tries to see 5,000 kids pass the swim safety test. And for everyone helping us get the word out, this campaign is personal. I was always around water. Former Jaguars quarterback and News for Jack sports analyst Mark Brunel remembers his dad, a teacher and coach, managing a pool near their home. Mark also remembers a friend who lost their child in a pool, making it all the more a mission to teach his own children. It was important for to me and my wife Stacy that at an early age we taught them how to swim, to be comfortable around the water. My first job, I'm teaching swim lessons at our pool and I had to go in to save someone. I wish that on nobody. Long before becoming president and CEO of the First Coast YMCA, Eric Mann was a lifeguard. Safety around water is about how do we help avoid that? How do we teach kids how to not only save themselves, but eventually learn how to swim? Now an added bonus, when your child's swim safety skills are tested, they automatically are entered to win a six month membership to our local YMCAs. And one quick note for those of you who go to the Johnson YMCA on the north side, that's closed right now due to renovations. The next closest one to you would be the Winston Y in Riverside.